So the ground propellant feed to the rocket has now completely terminated. Auto sequence initiated. Second umbilical separated 15 seconds from launch. Launch command for ignition. Are you ready to now? Second umbilical tower separate. And we see booster ignition. Engines at maximum thrust. And liftoff. Soyuz MS-18 on its way to the International Space Station. Ten seconds. The booster parameters are nominal. Everything is good on board. Very nominal performance. The first stage delivering 930,000 pounds of thrust from those four first stage boosters and the single core engine. 30 seconds into the flight. The uh, parameters of the booster are nominal. Everything is fine on board. 40 seconds, uh, the vehicle is stable. Everything is good on board. Continuing to hear good performance calls, a quick look inside the capsule. You can see uh, the crew strapped in and monitoring displays as they continue on their way uphill. Just past the one minute mark into flight. Your and roll are nominal. Seventy seconds into the flight, everything is nominal. Uh, we are good on board. At this point, the space station has already flown over the Baikonur Cosmodrome and now making its way in front of the Soyuz spacecraft. The crew is feeling well. Roughly 90 seconds into flight, the Soyuz rocket already moving more than 2,100 miles per hour, already about 10, 10 miles downrange. Into the flight, all parameters of the booster are nominal. The crew is feeling well at 10 foot is four, unintelligible. Okay, if you received the, the message about the casual parameters, copy. And right on time, we see first stage separation, the Koryov cross, those four strap-on boosters separating. Now the single core stage continuing to power the Soyuz spacecraft into flight. Copy. Just before that, the launch escape tower was also jettisoned. Soyuz does maintain escape capability all the way to flight, though, with the stage able to use uh, for a short time uh, small boosters on the shroud itself. And then once the shroud detaches, Able to use boosters on the spacecraft. Uh, so the shroud jettison is confirmed. We have controlled descent. And so we heard confirmation the launch shroud has jettisoned in this animation. You can see the Soyuz spacecraft now exposed, continuing under the power of the second stage. 180 seconds into the flight. Uh, vehicle stabilization is performing nominally and the crew is feeling well, copy. Second stage is going to continue to fire until 4 minutes and 37 seconds into flight, so about another minute and 20 seconds. Second, the second stage uh, thrusters are functioning nominally. Everything is good on board. Getting some views from the spacecraft itself as it continues downrange. 230 seconds, vehicle stabilization is performing nominally. Everything is good on board. At this point, the vehicle's already accelerated to just about 6,400 miles per hour, about 172 miles downrange from the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Two hundred and fifty seconds into the flight, teach your and roll are nominal. Everything is good on board. The pitch yaw and roll calls relating to the the attitude or which way the vehicle is pointing. Hearing nominal is what we want to continue to hear on the way uphill. Everything continuing to perform normally. 
with the Soyuz spacecraft and the rocket. Four minutes and 40 seconds into flight. Second stage separation is confirmed. We had better two. And so we heard good confirmation. Second stage is shut down and separated. You saw a piece fly off there. That was the lower skirt of the third stage that was jettisoned right on time as it was supposed to. So he's now being propelled by the single engine of the third stage, providing about 67,000 pounds of thrust. This is going to continue to burn for about four minutes. It's going to shut down at 8 minutes and 46 seconds into flight. Into the flight, uh, the third stage is functioning nominally. Everything is good on the board. Copy, Kazbek. Three hundred and fifty seconds into the flight, uh, everything is nominal. Uh, everything is good on board. Three hundred and eighty seconds into the flight, uh, third stage structures are functioning nominally. The crew are feeling well. Copy, Kazbek. Three hundred seconds into the flight, uh, the vehicle is stable. Everything is good on board. Now just about two minutes left, a little under two minutes of power on the third stage. Once it shuts down and separates just a few seconds later, the Soyuz spacecraft will be flying free and a series of pre-programmed commands will execute, deploying a number of the appendages, uh, the antennas uh, and the solar arrays needed to power the spacecraft on its way to the station. Uh, and a number of antennas will also deploy for communications and tracking. Uh, including those that will be responsible for communicating with the station as the Soyuz makes its automated rendezvous and docking. Seven and a half minutes since launch. We have about a minute 20, a minute 30 left until the third stage has done its job and will shut down and separate. Four hundred and seventy seconds. Third stage thrusters are functioning nominally. Now in the final minute of powered flight for the Soyuz 2.1A booster. Coming up soon we'll see third stage shutdown and separation. Four hundred and ninety seconds into the flight. Uh, vehicle stabilization is performing nominally and everything is good on board. We'll look to confirm good orbital insertion, essentially confirming that the spacecraft is in the intended uh, altitude, in the intended orbit. We are ready. And now standing by for third stage separation, shutdown and separation. 520 seconds into the flight. Kazbeki, uh, orbit insertion is confirmed. Uh, our congratulations, and now uh, Moscow, MCC Moscow, will talk to you. Kazbeki, Moscow. Kazbeki, Moscow. And so we saw a good shutdown and separation of the third stage. 
Solar Array has deployed. Standing by for confirmation that all antennas have deployed. Kazbeki Moscow, how copy? Kazbeki MCC Moscow. This is Kazbek 2. I am ready to 